Today is Sunday, Babe's back home. We came back home yesterday at like 5, 6 a.m. So yeah, um, I just filmed a video. I literally had to redo my Fenty Beauty video again because I didn't have the microphone on. So yeah, I did that again. And I think I figured out what I'm gonna do to the room now with you guys' help. So you guys will see that hopefully it's coming soon. But I just wanted to get this addressed out of the way and get it out of the way because I have been getting so many questions on my latest video about why I'm talking weird, why I sound like this. So why I talk the way I talk right now, it seems like I have food in my mouth, maybe a retainer or something like that, but I have a palette expander in my mouth, the roof of my mouth, right here. So it's kind of like, it's not even at the roof of my mouth. It's literally in between my tongue and the roof of my mouth. So it creates less space in my mouth, which makes it really hard to talk and pronounce certain words. So that is the way that I talk the way I do right now. And I do have to keep it in for at least six months. And I am only on month, I think I'm on month three right now. So maybe in a couple of months i'll be able to take it off hopefully i can like i'm gonna be so excited when i do but for the meantime this is the way this is why i talk the way i do because i have the expander in my mouth so for all my new people who came to my channel or for people who are late um on my videos and stuff like that this is why i talk the way i talk okay i have an expander in my mouth and there's nothing i can really do to help um the way i talk right now so you guys are just gonna have to live with it and so am i so i just want to get that out of the way a psa because i have been getting so many questions on my last few videos about it so i just want to let you guys know but yeah so me and brian are about to head out to like eat some food i'm starving i want pasta and maybe some wine or something like that so yeah that is where we are headed now let me see if he's ready Brian, baby, you ready? Man, I don't know, like, we're gonna delete this idea of you wanting to go get pasta with a patio. Because that just, I'm not... I'm not Whoa, gonna... why do you have to be so rude, though? I'm saying, it's like, you talking about you want pasta, but you want to eat outside of the patio that, like, literally narrows down the choices of work. I'd rather eat on the patio. Okay, so you don't care about the food quality, you just want Italian food on that patio. So we yeah. go to whatever Italian food spot has a patio. Okay. Done. Done. But it can't be like two stars. No. <laughs> Would you want to go to a two star restaurant? This is so annoying right now. What, like, what do you want? He was trying to ask me what. He was trying to ask me so where I, do I want to go. You like eat? I live here. Say, if you say pasta, cool. We're going to get pasta. But when you say I want pasta, but I want to eat outside in the patio. You... <laughs> make it happen, babe. Make it no, happen. Don't make it happen. <laughs> So now he's online <laughs> looking up places. <laughs> Am I difficult? The comments will tell you that you're very difficult. That's not being difficult. Pasta on a patio, like, why not? It's Austin. You guys should have a lot of those. Why places. do you women just make up, like, the, just the most vague places of what you want to eat? Why can't it just be like, I want pasta? Why do you have to be like, Babe, that's not babe. That's, that's not babe. That's being um, precise. Babe is being broad. Okay, but I'm like, do you want to go to build your own restaurant or something? Like, you can't be like, oh yeah, I want pizza, but I want to eat it on a rooftop. Like, who, who does that? I'm sure there are places out there like that. <laughs> I want pizza. One place. <laughs> Dead. But there's like, it doesn't have to be a pasta place. It just has to have certain pasta dishes. You know what I mean? Hell no, I don't know what you mean. He's being mad extra right now. <laughs> you are so annoying for this shit. Guys, is there something wrong with me saying that I want pasta on a patio? Yeah. It's just what you do on Sundays. Be on a patio, have some sangria. Yeah. Guys. Yeah, when you just wake up on a damn resort, man, you can have it like that. This is a resort. 
I'm kidding. Anyways. I'm looking at these damn places. None of these hoes look like they got a patio. And they look like mom and pop Italian food shops. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, so we are finally leaving the house and we just had a little cute photo shoot. I'm gonna like, post some of the pictures on like somewhere over here or maybe you guys should go over to my Instagram because they are gonna be up on my Instagram. And yeah, they're so cute. But yeah, we are about to go to the domain and have some food and some drinks. And then I don't know what we're gonna do after that, but it's a really a nice Sunday evening. It's like, I think seven o'clock right now. Like who knew it was so late? Literally, I waited up for him to come home. So we slept in really late. Well, I did. He woke up at like 11. I'm like, are you serious? But yeah, so we are headed to the domain. I have to get out of this car because it's so hot. It's so hot. And he wants to go in and get us some water. So yeah. Um, we are probably out. The wire is cutting my braces or my gums so hard right now. Okay, he's back. We might do a car, um, carpool, what do you call it, playlist right now. <laughs> We just made it to the domain and it's so beautiful out here. So there's like a bunch of different shops and restaurants and everything. come here more often don't you think yeah we should it's nice out here you know i fuck with it it's straight you what i mess with it it's nice why are you trying to show off your grill though um, yeah he's a thug yeah, he's a thug right <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're gonna go back to the first place which was called Yard House and eat there so hopefully the food is good I don't know but we're gonna see but I really like this place it's so like I can literally live up there can I live there? yeah it's far though right? yeah it's far from where he works I mean I don't mind like a 20, 20 minute drive I get to jam tunes then so you're gonna live all up in, what is it, Lake Travis? Oh, with uh, the coast there? Yeah. The house is dope like that. I know, the houses are nice. But yeah, anyways, on to Yard House. I'm so freaking hungry, yo. I'm actually in love with pomegranates. 
Yeah. That is so that is strong. Yeah, this is our Hennessy um, sangria. How dope is that? All right, guys. So we are just leaving the art house, and literally going in there, I was so freaking hungry. But when I got the food, I wasn't that hungry anymore. Like I ate a lot of it, but I got so full fast, and that's what happens when you take way too long to eat because literally that was like my first meal all day because I woke up late and then I ended up going straight to filming and then we ended up taking pictures and then we went to eat so yeah we have a lot of food in that bag over there so yeah I think I'm gonna eat again when I get home because I literally had nothing all day I had a little bit of the salad and then I had a little bit of the pasta so yeah, we're on our way home now, and I'm a little bit tipsy right now. That Hennessy though, the Hennessy and red wine sangria, A1. So, you want me to drink? Do you want me to pick it off the bottle? I got like two glasses left, so we can share some of that. <laughs> it's so funny, Brian. What? Nothing. Anyways. About to head home, probably have another car session. So we just got home, have my little $250 glass of wine, and it's so strong. This is like 15%. It's a lot. Yeah, it's strong. Oh! I feel like Olivia Pope right now. I just got a package, so I'm about to open it. It's from We Dad. So let's see what, you know, they sent over. Part of it is just a advanced climate control feather light styling cream. So I don't know if this is for curls. Yeah, it's for curls. So it says it defines curls and locks out humidity. So I'm in Austin. It's super humid here. And yeah, I'm excited to try this. I actually do have it in my hair. Um, in my last vlog, I also had that in my hair as well. I had the, ho the whole... Um, advanced climate control line in my hair and it really defined my curls so i think this is some good stuff so i'm excited to try this out but yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here i'm gonna go to bed and call it a night so we will see you guys all in the next vlog deuces